Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Food with Dev. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my mom's recipe for Vietnamese caramelized shrimp, or thum rim. This is a quick and easy side dish for a traditional Vietnamese home-cooked meal. The shrimp are marinated in a traditional sauce, then simmered until they are a perfect balance in a thick, sweet, and savory glaze. If you love Vietnamese food, this is essential for an easy weeknight dinner. To follow along with the recipe, you'll need one pound of whole shrimp, four cloves of garlic, half of an onion, one strand of green onion, two tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, or you can use natural mushroom seasoning. The traditional way to make this dish is to use small to medium shrimp with the shell and tail on. The shell and tail provides a nice crunch once cooked and caramelized. If this isn't something that you want, you can peel the shrimp and still get that amazing flavor. However, keeping the shell on is crucial to get that crunchy pocket of rich umami clusters. Start by trimming the legs. Shrimp live in the bottom of a body of water and the legs often collect debris. Washing it off removes most but not all so it's best to clean this part out. Next, cut the sharp part of the head off. You'll want to cut about 2 centimeters off the tip of the head. You can tell from where the black dot is located. Cut it just before there. Then remove the gunk and repeat this process with the remaining shrimp. After that, we'll move on to the next step, which is to prepare the garlic, onion, and green onion. Start by mincing the garlic so we can use it to fry. Next, cut the onion into thin strips. And lastly, cut the green onions into pieces about one and a half inches in length. This is the desired size and length, however, it doesn't have to be exact. This is more of a personal preference. We're going to put these to the side to use later. And now the last step, frying everything. Add about one tablespoon of cooking oil into a large pan over high heat. Once hot, add in all the minced garlic and stir it around so it doesn't burn. Once it gets to a nice golden color, add in all of the shrimp. Keep stirring it around for about 30 seconds. And no, I did not forget to marinate the shrimp. Since the shrimp is gonna simmer in the sauce, you can skip this step and do it directly in the pan. It saves time without sacrificing any of the flavor. For the seasoning, add in the two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and a half tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. Mix it around until it's fully cooked and you can tell by the rich orange color. We're gonna let it sit for a little longer. Usually you should not overcook seafood as it results in a rubbery and chewy texture. However, this dish is recommended to be overcooked. I also think it provides the best flavor. The shrimp in this dish isn't meant to be juicy. It's meant to be crispy and crunchy. Plus, it allows for a bit of charring on the outside shell, which gives it that unique flavor. Then add in the sliced white onion, mix it around for about 10 to 15 seconds, Turn off the heat and add in the green onions for the finishing touch. Plate it and it is best served with a hot steaming bowl of white rice. This is a very quick and easy recipe for all of the shrimp lovers out there. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you're new to this channel, I make weekly Vietnamese cooking videos. If that's something that you're slightly interested in, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe for more recipes. Thanks for watching everyone. Now it's your turn to get cooking.